What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And you know, it's about time we try to look on the bright side of this whole social distancing thing and the lockdown and the coronavirus. I mean, out of every every situation, you could, if you look hard enough, you can find something positive in it. And you know, I think there's some benefits. There's some benefits to the lockdown. Number one, um. You're not hearing a lot about people outside fighting, shooting. Now, of course, unless you live in Chicago. But it seems like everybody has taken a corona time out. They're like, hold up, wait a minute. I know we've been mortal enemies for hundreds of years, but let's not fight during the coronavirus time. You're not hearing a lot about a whole bunch of crime and things like that taking place, or, you know, all around the world. But in little hot spots, you got some crime here and there. But for the most part, crime is down. What else? Let me think. Um, uh, yeah. oh. Accidents. Accidents are down. If people aren't out traveling all over the road, it cuts down on how many people is driving. And perhaps, you know, you would have ran into a truck, but the truck's not there because the truck driver's laid off. And therefore, um, you know, a lot of accidents have been cut down. Um, let me think. What else? Oh, People have to start learning. How to do stuff on their own again. Think about it like this. Some of y'all who used to be great cooks, but because of the hustle and the bustle of life, you ain't cooked nothing in a, in a long time. It's all about stopping and picking something up, bringing it home. Now you got to bust out granny's old recipes and start reading it and, and trial and error and, and coming up with something to cook. You got to learn how to do stuff now. I mean... We had become this popcorn microwave having generation who just paid everybody to do stuff. Some of y'all sisters out there right now could probably go and get your nails licensed again because you're sitting there like, you know what? I ain't painted my own nails in about 12, 13 years. But you know what? This Corona got me on lockdown. Now I got to paint my own nails. Where's the uh, the acrylic or where's that gloss stuff you put under? You know, you got to put a coat on and you put the, all that stuff. Yeah. Some of y'all haven't done your hair in I don't know how long. Now you got to go back old school, uh, sitting in the mirror with the hot comb, uh -huh, throwing some plaits up top, whatever you got to do. Some of us had to go back to the original when you actually had to do stuff and society and technology wasn't a factor. I mean, imagine how much stuff is getting done around the house. Me just alone. Since I've been on lockdown, I've been painting. You know, I'm finding all kind of stuff at the house I need to work on. Like, oh, man. Yeah, that light bulb needs changing. Oh, let me see what else. Uh, and I better change the battery in the um the a fire alarm. Let me see what is this. Oh, is that a crack in my ceiling? You start noticing everything when you're stuck in the crib. And you might as well just go ahead and start doing all the stuff you needed to do. Other than all of those wonderful benefits, it sucks. I'm be honest with you, it sucks. Can't wait for this crap to end so I can go back and at least get my boogie on and stuff like that. But a lot of us are. We're learning how to be self-proficient again, going back to the old school ways instead of relying on everybody else to do it. Some of us got to learn to do stuff on our own again. So yeah, look at the bright side. Anyway, so you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. I thought maybe I'd try to switch and give you a little different perspective on it. And to be honest with you, no, none of that matters. I'm ready to get out of this mess. But, um, you know, hopefully it won't last too much longer before I lose my mind. When Kev from Kevin's Corner start thinking about protesting, going to get a stick and marching around with a slogan on top of it, you best believe it's worth my time. So they better get this mess together real soon or else you're going to see me on TV too walking around talking about some shame. Anyway, God bless y'all. Don't forget, check me out every Wednesday night live in Kevin's Corner, 730 on uh, ooh, one of another benefits is you know some of y'all done caught up on some series on Netflix now. You know that. Yeah, movie time at the crib. I saw one the other day. I might have to even do a separate video on this. They ruined it for me, man. They ruined Ip Man for me. I don't know if y'all know who IP Man is, but they ruined it. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all about that some other time. All right, so God bless you. You can check me out every Wednesday night, 7.30 live in Kevin's Corner on Facebook, YouTube, my radio blog talk show. Also, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Make sure you're still notified and your notifications are set to all. Make sure that um, you're still subscribed 
And if you want to donate to Kevin at Kevin's Corner, feel free. There's a link below this video to do that. And don't forget to check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. The link is below this video. Click on it. Put Kevin in the promo code. You get a 20% discount. All right. God bless. See you next time. Kevin's Corner.